As most of you guys would know, I'm pretty sure some of you guys have already seen this before, but I wanted to talk about it regardless, so I have my um, POV or opinion on this on record. So, Kiff had decided to link up with Jerry Seinfeld to showcase their full 2022 collection. And yes, you heard that right, Jerry Seinfeld is modelling Kiff clothing. Now, the shoe itself isn't that bad from a kind of just, you know, far away looking type of thing. The fits obviously fit, I think, Jerry well. He tends to wear it pretty decently. Um, it doesn't look that crazy on him. But still, the fact that it's Jerry Seinfeld dressed in the clothing that he's dressed in and dressed in a company that I think, you know, still was maybe trying to be somewhat cool is a little bit corny and a little bit cringe i'm not going to lie and if anything this one thing this does those this this one thing this sort of like lookbook does for me is confirm this infatuation or this grip that streetwear seems to have with people of a certain age especially when it comes to people that work in the industry because i feel like this is something that definitely came more so from ronnie the kind of owner of kiff as opposed to people that work around him i don't think maybe some of the young folks that maybe work at kiff would even know who jerry seinfeld is not to the nature or not to the extent that um, Ronnie would in terms of his relevance to culture in terms of maybe some of his um some of his kind of uh style moments that maybe lend itself to people who are in tune with sneakers and streetwear that maybe haven't seen old images of him on Seinfeld wearing a particular sneaker that was clipped up and put somewhere but I don't necessarily think that was him being swagged out I just think it was him just living in that era and wanting to buy some trainers and those are trainers that are available I don't necessarily think that made him to be a sneaker but regardless that sort of like romantic vision that people have of Jerry Seinfeld would only come for people who obviously are old enough to remember Seinfeld and the significance back in the day in culture but I feel like now that if you're a kid coming up there's no way that you would care or give a shit about what Seinfeld's about but people in the industry that work behind the scenes they probably identify themselves way more with Jerry Seinfeld than they would some random kid on flipping TikTok. Do you know what I mean? So maybe it does make some sense that they'd get him on board. But for me, this also reminds me of why I decided and I'm so glad I took a step back from the industry and the scene in general and just kind of treated it more so as something that I kind of watch from afar as I do here on the podcast. But then I make my money in a completely different industry. I then spend it and buy the things that I like to buy, but I don't need to be in it. Because I remember for a long time, I thought like, in order to kind of take part, I had to kind of be there as well, working these shitty retail jobs, um, trying to intern for companies that clearly didn't want interns <laughs> or maybe didn't want me at the time, trying to maybe get real jobs in these big companies and also they're not ever be openings because the old people that work there never left. So that was always, so when I see stuff like this, it just reminds me of adult hype beasts that I've worked with or I've seen in the industry. People who work for like some of the big kind of sports brands or clothing um, streetwear brands out there at the moment who have been in the same role for 20 plus years and just won't give it up. There is no point in them. They, they don't see any point in them retiring. There is no kind of exit plan. It's just a continue, continual cycle of going to Paris Fashion Week, of going to this convention over there, of going here, of going to studios, of seeing this drop of going to the store opening it's just a constant circle of this sort of like clout olympics right this sort of olympics so this influencer world tour that they seem to all go on uh, but obviously they're part of the industry so it's different um they take the same pictures of the same people the same places the same restaurants the same my plug my friend my brother all these same captions the proud and it never ends and that's why i think in general maybe this maybe again it's a bit of a stretch but i'm just saying maybe this might explain why the industry even though i love streetwear even though i love sneakers there's not a lot of innovation in that sector is there there's not a lot of people really pushing the envelope and maybe the ones that do that do something fresh no pun intended like a joe fresh good that's why people are so like excited about someone like that and want to jump on his nuts so quickly because there isn't anyone else that's kind of doing it to that exciting level anymore who's kind of bringing some oomph some energy some new ideas some new palettes some new themes some new ideas blah 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 it's just the same old stuff and that might be the reason why because they've got niggas like jerry seinfeld up there these hundred year old motherfuckers that just don't want to move away they don't want to step aside and get the kids room and space again this isn't just a me thing this isn't just me you know 
pleading about this sort of thing so I get the job, which I would love to, don't get me wrong. But it's more so about the kids coming up. If you're into sneakers now and you actually want to be a Nike energy marketing manager or you want to be the creative director or flipping Reebok or whatever, or whatever else place you want to be at or some other brand, imagine how hard it is to get in when you have somebody that looks like this that's over there that's been in the industry since it started. Um, they were flipping in the scene when James Jebbio was a fucking manager of a retail store. They know every single person and every single person that flipping has been around and passed through the fucking industry. They've got all the connections, all the malarkey. It's basically impossible for you to get their job. Impossible, unless they basically drop dead um, for the most part. And they tend to live on forever and ever because they have a flipping easy, quiet life. So it makes complete sense. So when I see stuff like this, it's just a reminder that the scene is kind of full of old old dudes that love this sort of stuff right for them this is like a big deal it makes a lot of sense it kind of connects with their lives and their childhood and whatnot and just kind of you know maybe is a version of themselves that they kind of want to be in the future but i see this and i see lame like especially for kiff there's nothing cool about getting jive stereo seinfeld and a pair of air max 95s and a fleece and a pair of jeans if anything this entire collection this is something i was thinking about the other, the other day if anything for someone like me who kind of rates himself and thinks, you know, I dress pretty well. I think I'm into cool stuff and whatnot. And I'm a little bit of a snob and a little bit up my own ass. I see stuff like this and I automatically think, I don't want to wear anything in this entire look. When I see this look, I think the first thing is, I don't want to see be seen in anything Jerry Seinfeld wears. Not a single bit of it. So this has like the complete opposite effect on me in that regard, a complete opposite. Even though some of the trainers on here aren't collabs, they're just trainers pulled um, to kind of, you know, help with the styling of the absolute thing. And most of the clothing is kiff, but the shoes aren't. It's still, even the shoes are getting a bad rep because Jerry's wearing it. I swear to God, like it doesn't do anything for me in the slightest. And I'm pretty sure the kids who are buying kiff, again, are they, that's, that's the thing, I'm just throwing out assumption. Are kids even buying kiff or is this more a brand for people who are pretty much older? I'm not really too sure, but either way, it doesn't sit right with me. I don't like it. I fucking hate it. I think it looks horrible. It makes kiff look way less cooler than what it actually is if anything it ages kiff really drastically um and maybe that's the whole point of it maybe he wanted to change the positioning the marketing the appeal the communication of kiff and bring it into a more mature sort of kind of realm because it's always been known for like making a lot of kind of athleisure type streetwear type stuff so maybe this is them saying hey we're fully on this kind of like um sports take on j crew type thing that they're doing so if you either like it or you don't but like I said this varsity is pretty decent on the first look book um you know image with this uh, new york jet sort of hat which is pretty nice as well and the nice jeans he has on and whatnot and i'm not sure if the sneakers are a collab or if they're not but regardless this entire look is pretty straight but i'm not wearing anything jerry Seinfeld wears done feeling cool that's never happening never in a million years so i'm not really too sure if that was the right way to go about things but again what do i know